Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today I'm going to be playing DC Universe Online. Now, I am revisiting this game because I had, you know, went back to Steam and saw it there, and I was like, no, I haven't played this in a while. Time to do a little bit of a revisit to it. Now, I used to play this game a lot, and I, when I mean a lot, I mean I used to play it for like hours when I first had, like, seen the game, or when it was, like, first released. But. I've always went with male, so this time I'm going to go with female. So I pretty much deleted my old character and I feel like I want to start over. You know, get some nostalgia going. So let's see, what character do we want? At least size. I'll just take medium. Select Exabyte download type. Create a custom configuration or imprint using data from an earth hero or villain. Yes, yes, I know this. But... You can pretty much customize your character, or you can pick a preset of like the existing villains. You can select a hero or villain morality. Can can I do this? Can I do this? Thank you. But pretty much, you can select the preset and of your like favorite superhero. There's Batman, Superman. I'm just gonna scroll down them and let you guys see all of them. I'm just gonna pop out right here. Alright, as you guys saw, it pretty much has a lot of presets you can choose from. And it has a lot of different like abilities and everything, and it gives you like what they do and what you'll be choosing. I'm gonna be choosing customization because it's uh, select a hero or villain morality. Because it's more fun that way. But I'm gonna choose villain. Because if you guys don't know, I'm more of a villain fan than an actual hero fan. Uh I just don't like heroes. I'm more of a villain than anything. But we're going to choose our little personality. Oh, well, I guess you could call it pose. No, we're not choosing the flash pose. We good. Um I guess I'll take serious. Select a mentor as a guideline for data application. So we could choose a mentor. Technology, trickery. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Joker, because I always like Joker. Select power group from available exabyte data to determine combat role. Thanks. Thanks for that. Now, I'm gonna pretty much show you guys all the powers you have available to you. And they're all here. Okay. Chill game. Here we go. From this point on, the rest of these powers are actually locked behind paywalls, so yeah, that's one thing I did not like about DC Universe is that you have to pay for other abilities. I mean, it's pretty much in all superhero games, like, what was it? Something Champions. Heroes, uh, Champions? No, some, something like that. But it was the same thing. Like, every superhero game I run into, it always has some, like, powers behind paywall, so yeah. If you guys are willing to pay for these powers down here, from light to the bottom, then more power to you.
Alright, I already know I'm gonna choose. I'm just gonna choose gadget, like always. Select movement mode. Now, you have a choice between if you wanna fly, do acrobatics, like running off walls and stuff, or if you guys want super speed. But this one is locked behind paywall. So, yeah. You only got these choices. If I try and click on it, it's gonna tell me that I would have to buy it. And I don't want to. So, we're gonna just choose acrobatics. Select weapon specialties from available data. Now, I'm pretty much gonna show you guys the weapons. Uh, pretty much the only thing behind paywall on weapon is your shield. I'm gonna go with brawling. Display exabyte download summary. Appearance options now available. Modify any category as desired. Accept download when ready. Stop talking to me, weird voices in my head. But anywho, there's a lot of co costume designing in this game, so you guys can be in here for hours if you guys wanted to. Select exabyte download type. But I'm pretty sure you guys won't. Oh god, I did something I shouldn't have. But I remember what I got. Alright. Select weapon specialties from available data. Display exabyte download summary. So options now available. Modify any category as desired. Accept download when ready. There are a lot of helmets and a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to let you guys look through them if you guys ever decide to play the game because there's I would probably be in here for like at least 20 to 40 minutes wait no probably not 40 at least 20 to 25 minutes in here just trying to show you guys every single thing that's inside of here so basically what I'm going to do is create my character and skip forward so we can get to the tutorial and combat then we can go do some quests I just want to note somehow during building my character, I ended up with no arms. Um, I'm so confused right now of what just happened. Alright guys, now we're done. I'm going to get into the game and go through tutorial. Now I have an option to skip to level 25. Could I do that? Oh, nope, I would need funds. And I'm good. I'm good. Download just put me in. I will level up the original way, the more fun way. Now, your gear really doesn't matter because it will change down the road anyway. The center of the multiverse. But you guys can watch this. It will belong to Brainiac. I do not plan an invasion, rather an assimilation. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. These I will capture and digitize first. Of course, some non-essential information may be captured as well. This will be sorted and purged once the digitizing is complete. Earth's resistance does not concern me. There is no intellect strong enough or power brutal enough to resist me. Soon this planet and all it contains will be mine. Intriguing. There is an anomaly in Earth's atmosphere. Beginning analysis. These exobytes are my own technology, each one holding unknown stores of digitized power from Earth's future. My harvester ships will simply reclaim the data provided by these exobytes and seal Earth's fate. This is a new obstacle. 
These humans resist my assimilation. My conversion units cannot hold them. Let the humans use their powers. In the end, they too will belong to Brainiac. So pretty much how this all starts is pretty much you're abducted by Brainiac and but you're an infected human by these like little nanobots that get into your bloodstream and make you like a superhero. Very nice. We've got a live one. They call me Calculator and I'm going to try to get you off this ship alive. First priority. Look for a door or something similar. First priority. What's one plus one? Calculator? Are you still there? Nope. Okay. Well then, I guess I'll get started. Unfortunate. The ship knows you're awake. Ready to fight your way out. Um, was there an easier way to do this? Like stealth? Watch it. Activity on the ship's network shows they're gathering beyond that door. Move into position. Now, I could plug in like a controller and play this, but, you know, not today. We're just gonna use good old mouse and keyboard today. I'm pretty sure this game is on, um, PlayStation as well. Oh, I remember this fight. This was annoying back then. I will patrol towards the prison bay. Let's see if I still know how to uh, beat this guy. Come on at me. How dare you? Yeah, I just wanted to note the first time I ever fought that bot, there I'm pretty sure there wasn't like a um indication to tell me to block it the first time. But when the game first like released units, I was like confused as hell. Search the vessel. Hey uh Alright. Climbing the root okay, yeah, this was always confusing. Okay, there we go. That is the skill of being acrobatic. That's why I always love it. Wait, what? Oh god. As I said, it doesn't matter if you, um, of what your costume is, it will still change. But I'm pretty sure there's a way to, uh, have it as default. I can't, like, remember. Oh, uh, hold up, hold up. Here it is. You could just go back to formal. Uh, when you put on your gear, you could just come to uh, styles down here, go to wherever you new thing you put on, and you could put on your default again. Continue so. patrolling. The ship's patrolling for you. We're not out yet. So if you like the gear you start out with, and not the gear that you have to equip for new stats, you can just do that. Um, which way am I going? This way. All right. Brace yourself. More security is coming your way. Psh, this security is nothing to me. Okay, what? What? Um, oh, okay. I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I'm hiding. You don't see me. You guys definitely don't see me. Use my skill points. Okay. Yeah, here's the skill tree for everything you can get. I always love this skill. 
You guys don't see me. Hey. You you don't see me. Hey. God darn it. Get lassoed. Get on, bro. Oh yeah, I, can't, I forgot. I can't fly. I can only run. Motion detected in the hallways. Stop the human. There's a high security nexus up ahead. Get it through and use the transport tube. Um, <laughs> I like how the dude was still talking to himself as I lassoed his friend. Oh, I can... Okay, I didn't notice that. You can right-click to do strong attacks. Whoops. I'm still a noob at the game. Free stuff. Alright. Put on the boots. And... Nah. Let's go back to style. Oh wait, were those legs? Yeah, those were leggings. Wait, nope, those are definitely a lot not leggings. Oh my. Hold up. What was it that I just equipped in? Yeah, there were definitely feet. And then where is the feet? Alright, there we go. Never mind. I forgot, I'm wearing like tights, so I don't technically have shoes. Alright. Now oh, we're gonna Jump down here. Woohoo! Can I take this copper car with me? No? Can I take something with me? What about this? Yep, time to take a drink machine with us. Just in case we get thirsty. But you guys let me know if you guys want a series of this because I will honestly would not mind doing a series of this. Uh, wait, drink machine. Be, be, put down. What? No! Ah, oh, darn! Now we're gonna die of thirst. Delivering shipment of earth goods. All units move into position. Get wrecked, bro. The human. I could have taken on those guys easily. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's the thing, guy. Literally hated about this game is targeting system. Oh god, yo, well, oh, great job, Wolf. You did a great job there. I can literally do this all day. I'm just gonna clap you guys to death. I'm listening to the best song right now while I'm clapping you guys to death. Death by clap. All right, let's go. Let's Brace take yourself. something else with us. More security is coming your way. Hey, hey, sec security! I'm right here, bro. Stop the human. Oh God! Please don't throw that. I'd rather you didn't. The hell? I don't know what that is. Uh, there seems to be another enemy around. Oh. Uh, bro? Hello? Okay. Can we not hit that guy? Okay, we can't target onto him. Okay, there he is. She is. The game wouldn't target onto him for some reason. Seems this game still has bugs after how... I don't know how long it's been out. Alright, I shall go destroy this ship. I have no problem with that. Oh god. Come here.
Um, oh. Anywho, what's this? The hell? Hey! I told you to shoot me. Alright, there we go. Hey y'all! Level up! Now, where do I go? Okay, this way. Damage to this vessel continues to mount. Move into position. Destroy the escape immediately. Somehow I got up here. I am invisible. You do not see me. I I I I am invisible char character. Can can you calm down? God damn it! Why can't I ever, like, stealth, man? Come on, game. Wait, did he die? I think he did die. I wonder what happened if I do it again. Oh, he just goes behind me. Roadhog hook. Alright. Where are we going? I'm, I'm just going to take this with me. He heals me. So it is mine now. But we have another skill point. Just ahead. Destroy it and the blowback will disrupt the ship's shields. Then we now, can get on board and shut this down. But as you guys move on, you can start playing with other weapons. But that's like further into the game. Now I'm gonna take uh this. That one sounds nice to have. And we're gonna keep moving on from here. Let's go, adventure! Okay, I was not trying to do that, but you come here. I don't even have to come to you guys. I can just hit you from all the way over here. Oh darn it, see you again. Please don't charge me. Okay, I can roll when I, um... Okay. Character, can you attack that guy? I can roll as a block. Take that, you. Do not let the prisoner reach the prime weapon control room. Damage to the power couplings will destabilize the ship. I shall make it there now. Thanks for telling me, bro. Uh, what did my belt look like? Do I want that belt? Hey, it looks pretty decent. I'll take it, I'll take it. Why not? Do not be foolish, human. You cannot stop the conversion. I can stop you. Who do you think you are? You're in. Destroy whatever is connecting the gun to the ship. I shall screw these power plants. Coupling destroyed. Stability at seventy-five percent. Stability now at fifty percent. Only one coupling remains. Do not fail. Ha! Ah. You've done it. Easy. The gun. It's crashing into Brainiac's bottle force field below. Take that, loser. Now, now get out you of the sky. Submit. I don't like the fact that you disappeared. Where are you? I wonder what happened if I just stand here. Ah. Immunity! I get to punch you as much as I want. Which makes me happy. Hey, hey? What I told you to dodge? Take my punches of justice. 
Well, I guess villainy then. Never mind. Hey, where'd you? I got, got darn it. Darn it, where's the teabag button? Are down. It's all yours. Um Foolish human, you have doomed yourself. Have you I will go down with this ship. Look at my cape, bro. Machines. You there! Help me fend off Brainiac's fodder while calculator locks onto one of the ship's teleporters. He says I'm going down. Look at my cape, man. Does this look like a person who's going down? Ow. Definitely not what I wanted to do. There we go. Hurry up, then. Get clapped. To Earth. Wait, hold on. The ship has been compromised. All units must evacuate. I shall save you all. Oh God. Okay. Yep. You know what? I should not have bombs. I really shouldn't. Lex, stop moving. I need to talk to you. You've done well here. Better than those incompetent so-called heroes outside. Get into the city. I'll take it from here. Yes, I'm better than those heroes. They suck. Now that I think about it, flying is probably the most OP thing in the game for getting around. Talk about your control, freak. He makes Batman look mildly neurotic. Thank goodness Future Lex blasted Earth with those stolen powers. Now we can really set the world on fire! What's oh, an apocalypse without a little screaming? Batman will never know what hit him. As for Brainiac, do what the Joker does. Just go crazy! <laughs> you did it. Lex will shut down the rest. I've hacked the teleporters to deliver you to safety. Go. Now. Alright. Um, okay, there it is. Oh god. There's a lot of things going on in this room. Alright. My computer has calmed down. And has n stopped dying. Where am I going now? Well, you were capable enough to get out of Brainiac's ship. Good. Welcome to the Tap Room. Where is... One of many nightclubs throughout Gotham and Metropolis that function as safe houses for our kind of folk. This guy got... find all kinds of things here. This guy has, like, weird blades all over him. Or is that a female? I'm pretty sure that's a female. Okay. Welcome. Not gonna question it. planning a little diversion for our batty friend. A good old-fashioned Gotham gang war. Oh, that sounds fun. The gang hates the penguin, but they never had the firepower to put that bird brain in his place. Until now, <laughs> I've sent them Joker explosives and the big payday, a shipment of apocalyptian weapons. Keep the cops away from the goods. The party's just getting started. Noted. As you can see, everybody has, like, really good character creation and very creative ideas for their superheroes. I like this this dude. Nice. And hers too. Um Evil, you know what? Yeah. Yep, we're leaving. Okay, time to go outside.
Nice costume though, but yeah, I, I get it. You're you're a cat. I for, I forgot. Some people are, are so called too creative. Hmm. Now welcome to the open world of Gotham, or just a whole bunch of worlds actually, because Metropolis and everything is actually supposed to be in this game. Why do you guys run away from me? I know I'm a villain and everything, but jeez. Hey, come here, let me punch you. Darn it. But the thing I always loved about this game is that I can climb buildings. And if you were flying, you could fly just so high up in the sky. The reason I was saying that flying was probably OP in this game for like traveling, because you can avoid damage in the sky. But for us who chose like grounded powers, hey, stop it. Or super speed. What I'm trying to say is for those of us who have like grounded like movements, we would be taking a yeah, quite a bit of damage, but then again we can just climb on top of buildings and all that. But if you're using the flash or flight, then you're good. I mean, even though the Flash would still be aggroing people, and still taking a bit of damage too, he won't be taking a lot. Alright, I was supposed to be going this way. As you can see, the Christmas theme is already in the game. Oh yeah, I forgot, I can glide, can't I? It's like the weirdest glide ever, but okay. I actually remember some of this area, even though there's Christmas design. See, that's what I mean about about getting aggroed. Because there's so many enemies around. But even if you are using flight, you would still aggro some people if you had to come down and get some stuff. But the worst part is that they kind of kill your movement. You so you wouldn't be able to them. move as fast as you would want to. Uh, here's my objective. I am to kill cops. I got this one. Now the superheroes have totally different quests from us. I'm killing cops, they're supposed to be killing the criminals. Pretty much how it goes. Call for backup. Run. Run. Take this cop. So superheroes will literally try to uh, like fight that guy. I'll help you out. Alright, how many more do we need? Even cops have special fighting moves. Does that make them OP? I have no idea. Uh, where's another one? Um, there he is. And if you're a villain, you make people run away from you, so... Yeah, civilians don't like you, and they just run away and judge you. Jeez, Ben, you didn't have to pop caps in him. Alright, yep. Had to stop that guy. P p police brutality. Anywho. No matter how many cops the Falcones pay off, there are always a few left to protect and serve. Now, I... Fewer now, thanks to you. Just got some shoes and... Cape. I'm hit! But you I don't want those. On pest control, kid. But those killjoy police are ruining my party. They're rounding up Falcone gangsters and shipping them off to the Huskow. And they've confiscated my lovely explosives. Oh, this will never do. Oh, you'll be fine, Find Joker. The poor slobs and get them out before the cops book them. You'll be fine. But let's go save our friends. Up, oh, wrong way. I'm gonna end it here after this quest because it's literally been like plus the character duration like 45 minutes of recording right now and you guys normally know I just try and do at least 30 minutes Let me go or your family will regret it. hey get off of him leave him alone get these cuffs off hey down. that's another thing if you're trying to, um... So, the boss sent you, huh? 
If you're trying to interact with something by hold down, the uh, NPCs can actually Trying interrupt you. Fire. Come back here. Come on out, man. No one asked you to come after me. Oh yeah, I gotta defend that guy. Oh come on, bro. You have to hit me with a flamethrower. There we go. Uh, you you okay? That's the last of the cops. Time for me to get lost. Yeah, man, you just run along. I got this one. Hey, 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 doe. Oh yeah, pay off the cops. Hey, we you Man down. stop it? There was a quest where you could pay off the cops, but I don't think I have it right now. So, this is the Come on, pal. God Get darn it, guys! Come here. On me. Call for Punch. Now I gotta go. Do one more van. I believe that van is over here. No, nope, there, there it is. All right, you guys are getting annoying with the flamethrower. Get off me. All right, I beat these guys. I technically don't need them anymore, but you know, oh my god, you guys are doing some stupid damage to me. Yep, time to run on out of here. Bye guys. Nope, I, I don't want no part of this. Goodbye. Super villain out. Oh, there we go. There we go. Run, run. Uh, I think they're still going to kill me. Am I high enough? Somehow I got high enough. Okay, sweet. I nearly died. You guys know I, <laughs> I have a bad luck streak of me at least dying once and all these like revisits are like first impression. So, it's a good, it's a good time that I... I haven't died in like two of them now. Even though I nearly died. I guess that's just a going thing for me. It's not like the cops to take on the Gotham mob. Wanna bet Batman tipped them off? Uh, we, probably. But, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Wait, now the hold real up. fun begins. The police have the Falcone warehouse surrounded. <laughs> Good thing all my explosives are still lying around. Get in there and get the party started, will you? <laughs> you know, Joker, I would, but you know, I kind of have to end it off here. But the game is like extremely fun. I definitely recommend you guys try it out if you guys are like any like DC fans of like all your favorite superheroes or villains. I mean, you guys should really try it out. It's really fun and can get addictive if you're like into these sort of open world combat survival games. And I heard their PvP is all right, but not like extremely good. But I guess they're still working on everything. I got stealth. Pretty sure if I get hit, I'll still it'll still probably break. But anywho, hope you guys actually enjoyed. I had fun with this game i might make a series on it depending on how you guys feel about it but hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time peace out